Welcome back to the Olympic Lyonnais career mode. If you missed episode number five, you missed a lot. We had wins against the likes of Stad Reims, OGC Nice, and Olympic de Marseille, our biggest arch rivals. Oh wow, okay, I'll take that. McKinney on his left foot. Oh my God, we are making mincemeat out of Reims right now. I feel bad, they caught us at the wrong time. Tagliafico is coming from the middle. He sees McKinney. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Daniel Madlin with possibly the easiest finish of his career. Just a side footer into the side netting. No, Iwar is wide open. Iwar is wide open. This could be another goal. This could be another goal. It is another goal. We are on one, boys. And I think we're gonna keep this momentum going. And by doing that, we are gonna bring in Cristiano Ronaldo. The first time, Ronaldo. What a ball from Iwar. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo on his right foot. And we are all over them with the possession. We are all over them. Theft. To Ronaldo on his right foot. That's why we brought him in. That's why we got him. And we got him on a free at that. That's some major GMing skills right there. It was a big win. It was a convincing win on the road at the Orange Maladrome. We ended up winning that game 3-1. to one, And now... We find ourselves in sixth place in the league looking into those European spots. We are tied on that conference league spot with Nice. And then Monaco's in fourth. We do play Monaco in this episode, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be epic. And then Marseille, of course, in third. We are only three points back of them. However, we do have a game on hand, so we have a chance to catch them in this episode. And then Stad Rene is in second. And then PSG, of course, tops the table. They are kind of running away with the league right now. We are 12 points behind them. Uh, but never say never. You never know what we can do towards the end of the season. We are on a hot streak right now. We've won eight of our last nine games. We haven't lost um, at all in the last nine games. And then an absolute madness occurred, boys. Lacazette wants to leave the club. There was a big headline about it um, in a previous episode. And we ended up just putting him on the transfer market. Um, because he was just really unhappy. Of course, he's not starting anymore because Daniel Malin is starting as our striker. And then we got Tete on the left wing. We got Fevre on the right wing. Um, so Lacazette really has fallen out of favor. So we ended up putting him on the transfer market. But we did another madness, boys. We signed one of the best players of all time, if not the best player of all time. A goal-getting machine. You guys all know him. Cristiano Ronaldo has joined Olympic Lyonnais in the same league as Messi now. So he and Messi are back to being rivals again. They're going to be facing off in this episode because we do play PSG. That's going to be an absolute madness. That's going to be wild, boys. So stay tuned for that. Cristiano Ronaldo in an Olympic Lyon uniform looks awesome. You see he's 37 years old, 89 overall. But that's not the craziest part. The craziest part is that we got him for free because he and Manchester United parted ways so we were able to pick him up. I didn't even know he was on the free agent list until last episode. Thank you to a subscriber for letting me know to buy CR7. So I looked into it and then I got Ronaldo for free. Last episode he got two goals and two assists so he's trying to show the world that he's not just a goal getting machine but he can also make others around him better and make his team overall better. He's done absolutely awesome so far. He's already doubled Lacazette's totals. I do also want to show you guys the League One top scorers right now. Neymar Jr., of course, leads the chase with 12 goals. Calvert-Lewin right there with him. And then we find Daniel Malin down in fifth. He has really come up big in the last few episodes. He is sitting at 10 goals right now in the league. And then we scroll down a little bit further. We got Iwar, who is sitting on six goals in the league. And then Fevre with six goals as well. Our attack is just nasty, boys. And take a look at this. Our assist leaders, the Uber Eats assist leaders, Iwar leads the category with 10, Favre with 7, Malin with 5, and McKinney with 5 as well. Our team is just stacked, boys. We share the ball really well. You never know. We might find Ronaldo on this assist chart uh, by the end of the season. That would be sick. And I do want to get into this first game, boys. We face AC Ayasio. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I think I'm going to quick sim this game. However, I do want to change the tactics. Um, I think I want to go constant pressure, uh, depth up a little bit higher, um, and then the width a little bit more narrow. I'm thinking I want to move Malin out to the wing and then put Cristiano Ronaldo in there. And yeah, I think that's a great squad to go with. 
Let's go ahead and quick sim this. Hopefully we get the dub. Yes, we do. It was another close one though. But Fevre with a brace, a 65th and 89th minute winner. That's insane. And McKinney with a 13th minute goal. That is awesome to see. We see Ronaldo was subbed out for Cherokee. And Taliso came in for Kakaret. So after that quick sim game, we find ourselves in fifth place. That is the conference league spot for the League One Uber Eats table. Um, we are almost halfway through the season. We are 11, 2, and 5, sitting on 35 points, tied with Marseille right now, which is awesome to see. Um, and then our next game is a pretty big one. I think we find ourselves playing Angers, I want to say. Um, and they are in ninth, so that's going to be a tough game for us. Looks like there was a Champions League round of 16 draw here. Spurs made the Champions League round of 16. That's impressive. Um, it looks like Spurs is playing Inter. Milan plays Ajax. Man City plays Bayern. Leipzig and Chelsea. Juventus, Leverkusen, Marseille, our rivals, our bitter rivals, is playing Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid plays PSG. That's a huge draw. And then Liverpool versus Borussia Dortmund rounds out the... Uh, Champions League round of 16 draw. So today we have a game against Angers. We're going to go ahead and play this one. I think I want to use this squad. I don't think I want to sub anybody else in. Looks like Taliso's a little bit unhappy. Why is Tete unhappy? He's very unhappy. That's very odd. Um, we're going to give him a start today. Hopefully that changes his morale. Taliso, we're going to give a start. We're also going to give a start to Rene Adelaide here. Um... Whoa, let's change him to a right center mid. There we go. And then I think that's all I want to change for today. Let's go ahead and get right into this, boys. First match of the episode, we are on the road here at Angers Home Stadium. Um, Angers is in ninth place in the league, so they are no push pushovers. They are a mid-table team right now. Um, kind of knocking on the door, though, of that, you know, the top-level teams in League One. Let's see here. We got Taliso on the ball. Can he do a madness? That that makes me mad. <laughs> um, it's going to be tough for him to live up to McKinney's billing because McKinney has been an absolute dog for us this season. He's scoring goals. He's assisting. He's really been a difference maker since we picked him up uh, in the summer market. Oh, my goodness. What a run. We see Fev. Why is Fev so slow? I got to change the development plan to boost the speed, something like that. Because that needs to be better than than what we just saw. Fevlo, he's on his left foot. That's a great shot. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got Iwar on the corner kick here. We're going to rise that thing. Nope. We got Tete with the ball. And for Iwar, I see Malin running over the top. Malin over the top. You know Iwar's got that great passing ability. Iwar with the shot. Oh, my goodness. He almost got to it. Can we keep this ball? Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, Favre. On his left foot. Another one. Oh. Ooh, at some point, he's going to get another long distance shot. If you guys saw a few episodes ago, he hit the craziest finesse. Off one touch, pulled it inside, top of the box. Boom. Oh man. Angers with the ball to release the winger there. Uh, but our defense does well to make up for it. Taliso. Uh, Taliso has not had a good game so far. Jeez. Nice, but Tadebo has. Uh oh, uh oh. Contain. Woo -hoo -hoo. We got lucky right there. Oh, look at me wearing a jacket. It must be cold out there. Man, he's got that riz. I'm telling you, my boy's got that riz. Nice. Renee, that a boy. Let's go ahead and bring that to the middle. Oh. Why did they have to blow the whistle right there? I saw Malin making a run. He brought the defender to the wing and then was making a quick cut to the middle. And I was going to hit him with that through ball. Uh, referee. Don't do that to me. Um, Kind of torn about that first half. I feel like we should be doing better. Problem right now is the midfield. So I'm going to go ahead and take Taliso out and bring in McKinney change it up a little bit and then I'm gonna bring Cherokee out on that right wing so two quick subs nothing crazy um, just some normal first team guys coming into the squad actually Cherokee is a second team player but um, I, th I like his potential for this game let's go ahead and give this to McKinney Iwar to McKinney well I was gonna try a distance shot let's get that wide Tete pop that in Iwar 
I thought that was a surefire goal. Mm. Hey, that happens, man. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, we got lucky. He shot it over. Gustos finds himself on the left side. He sees Madeline over the top, but that's just... That's not Gusto's specialty. <laughs> Passes are not his specialty. But Tete with the pressure. Love that. Love that. Tete's going in. He's mad, but he's going to be happy right now. But the goal, no way. There's no way that happens. Look at my manager. Trying to shout out some instructions to the team. Who is that? I don't even know who that is on the bench there. Let's keep this in. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Tete on the left foot. You've got to be kidding me. We're going to have to make some subs here if we're not going to be able to get the ball in the net soon. Go ahead and get to that. Iwar. Renee Adelaide. Oh, my goodness. Renee Adelaide, remember the name. What an absolute beast. He doesn't normally play for us. He doesn't normally start, at least. He usually comes off the bench later in the games. But today, he started, and I'm glad I started him. With a finesse into the right netting. Wow. What a baller right there. From the top of the box. You know my manager's loving it. The away fans are loving it. Um, Iwar's looking a little bit tired. I'm going to bring Kakaret in, though. Yeah, let's put... Cockeret in for Iwar. We're going to move him to the CDM role. And then Renee stays as the cam. Um, Peterson's a little bit taller than Gusto. I want to protect this corner kick right here. And then let's go ahead and bring in Ronaldo for Malin. Let's get that out. Let's get that out. there. That's why we brought Peterson in. Because he's a little bit taller than Gusto. Gusto might have been overpowered right there. But uh, Peterson's a little bit bigger of a dude. And that's why we brought him in on the set piece. There we go, Lukeba. Good, Tete. Oh no. Woo -hoo! Getting a little bit lucky right there. Let's go ahead and waste this time. Maybe we can get one more attack going on here. Get this in the midfield and skid it up to McKinney. And to Iwar. Or Ronaldo, actually. Let's go out to the wing to Tete. Ah ha ha. That's going to be the game for us, folks. Our second clean sheet of the season. That's all we've had so far. But it's a big clean sheet because we only won 1-0. A big goal from Rene Adelaide sealed the deal in the, I want to say, 60th minute. And I think we deserve this one. Our defense was fantastic. And let's keep this rolling into the next game. So it looks like Peters has accepted his two-year loan deal to Norwich. So we look forward to that. Hopefully he can grow a little bit over there. Um, I think Norwich is actually a pretty good team for him to go to. Go ahead and get some championship experience. Um, and then come back over in two years. And, you know, help us maybe win the Champions League in two years. That's that's the goal. Um, with how we are growing right now, I feel like in two years we could be doing a madness. There is Christian Peters. He is officially loaned out to Norwich for two years. Of course, we're going to cover his 500 pounds a week wage. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring Malinovsky into the lineup. He is 18 years old, so maybe we can loan him out, get him a loan deal. Maybe he can grow a little bit further. So we are simming past December, and we are officially in the January market. And of course, I don't know why it's showing Ronaldo. This game is bugged, but Ronaldo's been on the squad for a little while now. Um, I think for about a month and a half, and he's really been putting in the work. You can see he's putting in the work on the treadmill right there. He's probably doing his physical. It's a little bit late for that, but um, I'm super happy once again to have Ronaldo in the squad. There he is. You gotta love to see that. Ronaldo in a Lyon kit. That's a thumbnail right there. The second game of the episode is against AJ Ogzade here. I think our first win of the season was against Ogzade. I feel pretty confident about beating them, but we're gonna go ahead and... You know what, let's use the sim match feature. We haven't used that yet this season. Um, obviously, I've used it in my career modes in the past, but um, I want to see how our team does with me just watching them. 
There's kickoff. We are at home at the Group Hama Stadium. Let's see, let's see how we do. Oh, good start already. Ooh, okay. Oxare, I think, is only on 17 points at the moment. Um, there we go, Malin. Yes, sir. Daniel Malin. I think with his 11th league goal of the season. So that's probably going to move him up. Um, remember, he was in that fifth position for the Golden Boot race. So he's having a miraculous comeback season. Um, there we go. Another goal from Weston McKinney, the American international. That's the reason we got him for big moments and just to be, like I said so many times before, a dog. There we go. Get it into the box. McKinney to Malin. McKinney with an assist. Malin with the finish. I feel like we've seen that so many times before. That makes the score 3-0. I feel like I don't even have to do anything. Um, it's nice because I'm not playing with my squad right now, so I'm not wasting more energy because when I do play with my squad, I tend to waste their energy or drain their energy a little bit more. But right now, you see their energy bars are very healthy. This is so funny. I'm commentating on circles playing soccer. This is the craziest thing, but that's what we come to nowadays. Um, and it's honestly fun. So I hope you guys are having fun too. If you guys are having fun, drop a like, drop a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. It will allow me to keep making these videos. And I really um, appreciate you guys' support. Counter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tete with a beautiful goal right there. Let's go ahead and make some more subs. Malin is going to come out for Ronaldo. Talisa is going to come in for McKinney. I want to save some of these guys' legs. Um, and I think Cherokee is going to come in for... You know, let's put him in for Iwar. Let's play him at that camp position unless let's actually play let's play Favre at that camp position. He gets a plus five. So let's go ahead and do that and finish off this game here. He's had a great season for us so far. He showed up in big moments. Oh my goodness! Roman Favre in that camp position has scored an absolute screamer from outside the box. Unbelievable. There it is. Olympic Lyonnais is victorious. Looks like we got a couple offers here. One for Cockeret from Ajax. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and reject that. 35 million. That is a pretty good offer. We're going to accept this short term loan deal from Malinowski to Carlisle United, who I think are in League Two in England. And then we have another offer for Iwar here. Nikola Zalewski. They want to do a swap, a swap deal with him. Zalewski is a pretty good young player. Uh, but of course, Iwar is our our Kaka, so we're gonna keep Iwar in the squad. We're actually gonna reject all offers for him, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into this Monaco game, boys. Remember, we played Monaco, I think, the second game of the season, and we got absolutely wrecked. But this is a different squad. We've won nine of the last ten games. Press conference. This is an important game. I want my morale to be as high as possible talking about our chances beating Monaco. I feel like we are competitive, definitely. Um, and I promise we're gonna be competitive out there. This is a whole new team than earlier in the season. Can the squad make it? Um, we'll keep pushing for sure. We're always gonna keep pushing every game. I feel like we go out and give it our all. Do I, fa do I fancy our chances to win today? The lads are 100% ready for this. Let's go ahead and give the lads some confidence. Boost the morale a little bit before the game. Hopefully that gives us the edge. And let's go ahead and get right into this game. I'm not sure if this is Monaco's home stadium, but I, I don't know what's going on here. Why are we in suits? I've never seen this cutscene before. I've never seen that before. You know, I do think this is Monaco's home stadium. If it's not, it's very similar to it. Um, what's the name of the stadium? Union Park Stadium. That sounds like a generic stadium, but I think... I've seen pictures of Monaco Stadium before, and this looks very similar. Let's go ahead and get this one started, boys. Tagliafico, opening touches of the game. Tete is up to an 80 overall, so that's impressive to see. But that just means we're going to have to pay more to make his loan deal permanent. Um, and the only way I'm going to be able to make that permanent is if we finally sell Lacazette. Lacazette is just sitting in the reserves right now, not playing a game, not seeing any sort of the pitch. Maybe we need to play him for a game so that some other clubs can scout him a little bit i don't know i'll look into doing that um, but right now i am focused on this monaco game if we can win this game i see malin making a run there he is gonna bring it on his right oh malin stick with the ball buddy and bolo's also a really good player i think monaco plays a two striker formation here i know they used to have ben yetter ben yetter had a great season last year for monaco I'm not sure if he's still there or not 
this is gonna be a dog fight boys and I can already tell they are really all over us with that constant pressure it's a little bit intimidating there we go to Debo to Tete to McKinney out to Tagliafico we're just gonna go ahead and run with them we're gonna run with them we see Malin Let's get out wide to Gusto back inside for Malin on his right foot that's a slap shot that's a slap shot Look at this. I don't know what Monaco was thinking, leaving Malin wide open like that. Gusto finds him from the wing. A couple touches and boom. Let's go. Donyo Malin gets on the scoreboard again. Let's go. I'm sure he's got a point to prove here. Um, going up against one of the other top scorers in the league. Malin's got a point to prove that he is um, a force to be reckoned with. Mbolo. And then Gelson. Gelson's been pretty tough to handle so far. He sneaks in there. Very good. There we go. Iwar. Make a run. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know what I was doing there. I should have slowed it down a little bit. In for Calvert-Lewin. On the counterattack. And we were caught off there. Yeah. Defense just fell asleep, huh? Todibo gets beat on the weak side. Doesn't get in front of Lewin. Lewin just uses his strength to, to make some space. And then blast it right past Lopez. Good. Lukeba. I haven't said his name in a while. Lukeba's been excellent for us this season. Let's go ahead and hit that over. We keep it. Iwar. Good. Get it out wide. Back to Iwar. On his left foot. Dang it. Oh, boy. Is that the half? That's going to be halftime. That felt like a quick half, boys. I'm going to go ahead and take Tete, uh, Tete off, move Mal into the wing position, and then bring on Ronaldo up front. I'm going to go ahead and change Ronaldo's tactics as well, or his instructions. I'm going to say stay central and get in behind. Todibo, that's a big-time tackle from you. Fev. Let's go ahead and slot that back. Augusto. Takadet. Gusto for McKinney. No, I wanted that for Ronaldo. I robbed with a great touch, though. Oh, my goodness. I was trying to sneak Ronaldo through right there. Got it back. Oh, that would have been a great ball. I just can't get past that last line of defense for Monaco. This has been a tough game so far. Uh-oh. Luke Cable, watch that weak side. Watch the weak side. Oh no. Calvert Lewin. That's a goal. I gotta make a sub. I'm gonna bring Cherokee in on that left side. Actually, let's bring him in for Favre. Favre hasn't had a great game. And then let's bring Taliso in for Cacadet. Go ahead and slot him in that right mid, right center mid position. And then let's go ahead and do constant pressure. I don't wanna lose this game, boys. Cherokee. See Ronaldo in the middle. Let's go ahead and hit it in. Ooh, keep flying in. Malin. Can we get that? Can we get that? Nope. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Lukeba, way to read that, my guy. Way to read that. That was beautiful. Iwar. Come on. Come on. Ronaldo. He's in. Oh no. The defender did so well there. He did so well to stop Ronaldo from making that, finishing that run. Tagliafico does well. Get that up. There we go. No, why is that touch so bad, McKinney? Come on, guy. Uh oh, uh oh. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Good. No, 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 no! This game's over. Calvert-Lewin finishes his hat trick. That's going to be the end of the game. That is our first loss in 10 games. The streak ends at 10. Lewin with the match ball. He deserves it. He had a hat trick. We still have yet to receive an offer for Lacazette. I mean, is this guy just going to sit on the bench forever or what?
Lopez transfer offer, that's not going to work out for us. Let's go ahead and make sure Lacazette's on the transfer list. Yeah, he is transfer listed. I don't know what's going on there. And we have a huge game today, boys. PSG, this is going to be the last game of the episode. And you see, they have Neymar, Mbappe, Messi up top. It doesn't look like they've made any big signings. They still have Navas and goal. The same three center backs that we faced earlier in the season. And then Hakimi and Mendez on the wings. Ruiz and Sanchez in the midfield. These are all players that they have in real life. Except Savage and Tapsua. So, this is a good, a good freaking team. I think I want to make a change here. I think I want to take Gusto out and bring in Peterson. I just think Peterson's pace and his physicality is going to be um, important for this game. So, I'm going to bring him in. Ronaldo versus Eminem. Let's go ahead and use these kits as well. We're going to be at the Parc des Princes on the road against PSG. Look at this cutscene. I've never seen this cutscene before. Maybe it's just because it's at the Parc des Princes. I'm not playing at the Parc des Princes. That is a beautiful stadium though. I did however hear, hear that PSG is looking to build their own new stadium. And I'm expecting nothing but the best for that stadium. Because they have so much money, I'm expecting it's going to be an absolutely wonder stadium. Um, let's go ahead and get the kickoff started here. Lyon versus PSG, one of the biggest games of the season. Tete here against Hakimi. Hakimi does so well, he's so physical bro, just pushed me off the ball. It was an interesting decision to, to start. Um, Peterson, I'm hoping it's going to pay dividends for us though. Our defense does pretty well right there. Let's go ahead and give this to Peterson actually. And go ahead and give it to Febre. See some runs here. I see Ronaldo over the top. But that's Tete. Tete, no! The touch was so bad. Mm, we're getting opened up in the midfield right now. Mbappe's wide open. It's just so easy. He doesn't need any space to maneuver. He is just on another planet. He is absolutely absurd. Best player in the game, no doubt about it. He's so fast, he's physical, he's strong, and he can use both feet. He's just insane, honestly. Peterson, there we go. There we go, we're looking good here. Iwar, on his left foot. Oh, 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 oh. That was a close game. That was a close one. There we go. Ukeba to Tete. Dude, Tete's touches are so bad right now. If we can somehow manage a win from this game, this would be huge for our season. Lopez saves it with his face. Oh my goodness, getting your head in the game. Literally, love to see that. That's dangerous. Marquinhos is very good in the air. And Messi to Neymar, to Lukeba. Let's go ahead and get this out. Just go ahead and toss it out there. Keep that, there we go. Oh my goodness, that was such a foul. Tete has had such a bad game so far. What is going on, Tete? Oh my goodness. Tagli Fico takes off Messi's feet. Let's go ahead and drop that back. I see Ronaldo making a run. But that's not who I wanted to get it to. McKinney, contain Sanchez, please. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Messi. We are getting so lucky right now. They're getting inside way too deep on us. There you go, McKinney. That's great to see. There we go. Go ahead and run. Run, buddy, run. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Iwar, Ronaldo. Keeps hitting his foot. Pass it back. Tag Le Fico. Oh, I was trying to be too fancy there. Quinos, oh my goodness. Why is Mendez so wide open? Peterson tracks back very well. Gets the ball free, and we don't keep it though. Oh no, oh no. Mbappe with the ball again. That's a goal every day. He's just so impossible to guard. I mean, I can't defend him. I thought I had him contained right there. The ball control is just miraculous. Look at that. Just pushed me off. I went diving the other way. There he is. Ronaldo. By himself. From range. Oh, Navas is not going to be beaten there. It's okay. It's okay. That's our first clean 
That's our first clean side of goal. Looks like we're going to have the ball again here. We're going to have a chance to score. Iwar, what are you doing, my guy? This guy must be tired. That was awful. Messi, Messi really has not done anything. Watch, I say that now, but he's probably going to score pretty soon here. I knew he was going to do that, too. Todibo does so good right there to get the ball off Mbappe's feet. And just like the first time we played him, we find ourselves down 2-0 going into the half. Do I make any subs? Do I make any changes? I don't think I do, to be honest. Tete's really had a bad game. I'm going to bring Malin in. Um, but other than that, that's all I can really do right now. Mendez. Peterson does very well. I feel like Peterson's had a pretty good... <laughs> I said Peterson's having a pretty good game, and then, you know, he just proves me wrong right there. Gotta love that. No way. No way Messi gets open like that. That's a great tackle from Lukeba right there. I'm surprised Messi did get in a penalty for that. I'm losing my mind right now. Come out, keeper. Keeper, no! What are you doing? Why didn't you hold on to the ball? What happened here? I mean, you're just giving Mbappe free goals now. Bro. That's so frustrating. And then Iwar hasn't done anything all game. Oh, dude. Dude, what are we doing? Why is Savage playing in the midfield? He's a center back. Mikaba, thank you. Get that to McKinney. Can we please get a good shot on goal? Dude. Peterson on the wing. I see Ronaldo making a run there. But I see McKinney. Ronaldo. Out to Peterson. Keep that. There you go. Cockeret. Why can't I get a clean shot off? This team is something else, I'm telling you guys. I I, I can't I can't keep the ball. I can't get a good shot off. This team just swarms me. On that last line of defense. It's actually insane. Messi hasn't done anything all game. It's the only positive thing so far. Ronaldo does well to hold up the ball. Ronaldo. He's going in. He's scoring this one. Near post. Let's go. We pulled one back. I knew Ronaldo was going to score in this game. Let's go ahead and make a sub here. Iwar is doing absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead and bring on Rene Adelaide. Um, and then Cherokee on that right side. Favre has not done much this game. And then, you know what? Let's bring Gusto in for Peterson. So happy FIFA added that fifth substitute. <laughs> so, I don't know why we're celebrating. We need to get the ball. And we need to score very soon here. Let's just get one more goal here. Come on. At least one more chance at goal. What am I doing? What was that? Oh my god, did you just see that rollover? Mbappe just sent me to another planet with that. I'm shook. I am so shook at this. Look at this rollover. Finesse into the back corner. Yo, that's impossible to defend. Look at my guy diving in. Todibo has had a howler. He's been made a fool of by Mbappe. Mbappe is something else, man. Let's go ahead and end this game here. At least we scored one goal this game. We didn't get totally shut out by PSG, but that is two losses in a row. It's not been a good episode for us. So I think we are going to end the episode there. I know it wasn't on a high note. We lost two games in a row, but we did win the first two games of the episode. And go ahead and take a look here, boys. We do have RC Lons in the round of 32 in the Coupe Nacional. That is a trophy that we could win this season. Of course, barring the matchup with PSG. Of course, if we can miss PSG in the tournament, 
and make it to the final, I think we have a good chance of winning it. Neymar is, of course, oh, that's the Coupe Nasty now. Let's go ahead and League One, Uber Eats, and Mbappe is in first now. This dude raked up four goals last episode, and he is by far the top scorer in the league with 18. Calvert-Lewin right there with 17, then Neymar, 13, and Daniel Malin, our very own, with 13. Favre with 9. I don't remember him scoring that much. I know he scored a few in the simulated games that we did. McKinney's up there also with 7. And uh, as for assist leaders, Iwar and Neymar with 13. That's going to be a race to watch. Lopez has three clean sheets now on the season. Otherwise, that is going to end the episode for today. It was a heck of an episode. We had a lot of things happening. Um, of course, we still have a lot more to do. We are going to end the January transfer window uh, with the next episode. And by the end of this episode, we have found ourselves back where we started. And that is in fifth place, which is a conference league um, position. We are 13, 2, and 7 right now, sitting on 41 points, but we are right there with Monaco, Nice, and Rene uh, for those Champions League places. So stay tuned for that, boys. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.